Hello all, Yoji here. Uh, Spontaneous Creations by Brian is what you're watching. What I got tonight is another 30, 12 by 36 inch piece of plywood. This is scrap plywood. This is my last piece of it, so you won't have to endure any more of these. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do seven, seven dirty cups on this. I'm going to flip and flop them and slide them and flop them. What I'm going to do is white and black in each cup. And then I'm going to do two other colors in two, two other different colors in each cup. So, uh, like red and purple in this one, red and orange, red and green, orange and blue, green and blue, blue and burnt umber. I'm going to do another burnt umber and orange, I think. For the, to get the seven. Anyway, these are still my old, old uh, pre-mixed paints. I have way too many, ma way too many of them, way too much. I had enough to do many, many, many paintings. Anyway, let's get to doing something. Start with some gloves. I'm going to use the coconut milk hair. I'm not going to use the coconut milk hair. I'm going to use. I'm going to use this uh, treadmill. 100% silicone. Spot on. Got that from Amazon. I don't remember how much it is. It's not a lot. It lasts forever. Buy a bottle of that silicone. It just goes and goes and goes. Okay, so we're going to start. I'm just going to do one cup at a time. I got enough white and black. I don't know. These are various different brands of paint. Um, they are all mixed with my um, Floetrol Water Medium. I use two parts Floetrol, one part water for my medium and I pre-mix these paints these, some of these paints have been mixed up for three months so and I've been getting good paintings out of them I mean decent work out of these old paints so paint can obviously be mixed up and let sit for quite some time and still work I just bought a new brand of paint a little while back and I want to start using it but I figured I'd better use this stuff up first anyway we're going to start with some white pour a little bit of white in there now these are five and a half ounce cups and I think I'm wanting to get them pretty full we're going to go with some purple it's pretty light purple some red looks pretty thin but it's gonna work a bit of black on top of that one I'm thinking I'm gonna do two layers of the colors but in between layers I'm gonna do my my uh, silicone five and a half ounces they say one drop per two ounces I'm gonna use three drops per cup one two three and then throw a layer of white on there. Go with some 
red from up high to so where it shoots down through the paints and mixes that silicone in. Some purple. And some black again. And some white. we have the dirty cup. I kind of want to get these caps back on there so I don't spill any. And this time we got red not a lot of red. I'll probably use all this red in this and some golden yellow I think is what it's called. It's an orange. So we go with a little white. This red golden yellow. Three drops of silicone. One, two, three. Black again, and some white on top again. So three layers of white on there, I guess. I think I'm going to use this for the seventh one in the burnt umber also. Another shade of red. green I guess it it seems to be pretty thin it'll all work out though black three drops of this stuff one two three white. I think on the next, well, I don't know. I had a thought for a second, but I'm not going to do it. Or am I? I don't know.
That looked like there were some chunkies that went in there. But I seen it last night, or the other night when I was pouring the other one, and I didn't get no boogers. It just looked like there was boogers going in there. I know this isn't the funnest part. I mean, the video's already at 10 minutes, and I'm just still pouring cups. It's okay. What, what's gonna do? I'm gonna start with some black on this one. Do it just a little opposite. And this is another, this is chrome orange. next to blue. I don't know. Might be okay. Might look stupid. One, two, three. Three of those. Orange again. Do it. Do it on top, and then run something through. That cup is really blue. Did I miss the white? I don't know. That one didn't quite get as full. I have another little bottle of white here that I'm going to probably need. green in here. This is emerald green. When I'm shaking these bottles like this, I'm getting a lot of bubbles. But those cups sitting like they are, they seem to be, bubbles seem to be popping in them. A little bit of blue. I don't have a lot of this blue either. So, we're going to use it up. Cone. One, two, three drops of that. A little bit of white. Blue again from way up high. I'm going to have very little left in some of these bottles. I'm probably going to end up just wasting Let's do some green. And green is such a great color. I don't use it enough. I'm going to skip the top layer of white on that one. Go with the black start again. shouldn't have done that. I'm going to switch up just for a second and go to my orange. And 
Throw some white in there. And then some burnt umber. This is going to be a very hard or dark cup, I think. Because of the black in the burnt umber. I don't think I'm putting more black in this one. One, two, three, four, four, four in that one. with some orange again. Some white. Really afraid of that burnt umber. Afraid this is going to be too dark of a cup, but see this one we're going to use that burnt umber again this is the last one put some white in there the burnt umber put a lot of that in there and then another bluish green bit of black and then the silicone whoa there that was way too much silicone in that one and just kind of poured out um bluish green or white throw some white on there a lot of white in this cup but it'll be all right Bear with me a second, I gotta move all these paints out of the way. Actually, I have to stop this for a minute. I will be back in just a moment. Sorry about that. I uh, realized I, I still had my good shoes on. And I know I'm gonna spill paint on the floor and on my shoes probably. I had to switch shoes out. Which one is this? Orange. a lot of that white but I got through with what I had and I have to use this other little bottle black black I got more black left than I thought I was gonna have too might be able to do one more painting with that Okay, so when I was pouring all those paints, little specks from the, the lips of those bottles got everywhere. So I'm going to have some chunks in this painting. I'm prepared for that though. I know what, what I'm doing. But I do have the edges here painted green. I was going to do something else. And then I decided I was doing this. So, we want to kind of randomize these colors a little bit. Um... I'm gonna put this one on the outside here and throw a blue that one this burnt umber here and 
So this one there and that one there. We got seven dirty cups, all ready to be flipped. Put on the spatula, flip it over, put it in your spot, hold your cup, pull your tool. I'm gonna wipe these, wipe it off each time too, maybe. Try not to press down on, on the cup when you're holding it. So we got them flipped. You just gotta kinda space them out correctly now. Start pulling. Okay, here we go. Gonna end up not having enough paint. This one's gonna be challenging right here because I don't have enough paint to fill this area. Well, they're all spread out. Got a big gap here. Kind of need to start doing some torching too. A lot of paint on this canvas right now. It's not a canvas. Anything you're painting on is a canvas. It's a piece of plywood. But, okay, let's start tilting. Oh, stuck. I was thinking, after they dry, uh -huh. you can flip them and do the other side. Do the other side of the plywood? Put a frame around it and pre-hang it between the rooms. The divider, get a bunch of them, make divider. Oh, I'm losing. 
losing stuff, but just a little room to mine. I didn't want that. Oh, I did not see this side did not get done. And that's how I bought them. You'll see when you watch the video, I bought them reds and then blues across it and then I mixed them up. Let's see if I can get this corner to. actually do both of them both sides uh -huh. and then make like a uh, like a wooden stand that it could sit in uh-huh it just free sands in the room or oh, like sits on a coffee table or something in the corner or in, Whatever. You, or in the middle of the room where you could see corner both sides room, yeah how's this back edge look yeah, one spot you just miss. But for the most part, that's it. Where? Like here? Here. Off the edge of the blue. Probably just screw that up. You know, to me, it's ugly. But. The edge. Like I said, the edges are. Some people spaz about their edges, some don't care about their edges. They don't blow them a little bit, so. And I don't see. I don't see a lot of boogers. Do you need to torch again though? Yeah, there's a lot of air bubbles in there. Somebody was saying that they spray it. With a clear coat right now. Spray with a clear coat right now? I can't see that coming out positive at all. What, this? No, spraying it with a clear coat now. Yeah, I don't see how that would... Because it's like a plastic. When you're throwing plastic on top of water, I don't see it working. I don't like that booger there, but I don't want to... I wouldn't try it on this. I might spray it with some alcohol. Yeah, I know you would. I am not doing that. <laughs> I, I really like this. It turned out... I mean, this is kind of... goofy looking. Yeah, that's a little... This is the worst... Muddled. I wouldn't say it was muddy, but it is muddled. Yeah, big ass booger in there. It was a big booger. That was a big... Like a whole moth. Yeah, if you had enough paint on there, I would dump that off. Dump this totally off? Right. It would stretch this in too yeah. far. Yeah, you don't have enough paint on there to do that. Yeah. Well, these got too small. My my swipe like this did not work right then. Well, that's a good looking set one there too. Yeah, well it was a booger. There's a, there is a couple of them in there. It's not like I'm going to sell the, these ones anyway. I might gift them to somebody I know if they end up looking really nice. That last one's really nice. The video before this. This one's better. You think this one's better than that one? Yeah. I, I don't like this end. I, I like this colors, these colors, and these colors. 
and I like these colors, but it got all really goofy looking. Yeah, you guys should have enough paint to pour in there and then pour it off. You could do it quick enough without stretching that top. Right. Yeah, if I could just scrape scrape this off from there to there and do another cup and it look okay. But I don't think it will. Okay, so there there's my video for tonight. Um, that's the last of the scrap plywood. Do got three sheets of MDF board. Four foot by eight foot sheets. That um, we're gonna cut up and do different paintings on. If we can ever get into the garage, but the snow is stopping us right now. So you people in Washington that are complaining about your little bit of snow in the backyard. Quit bitching. We got probably eight inches today, but the wind's been blowing at 29 miles an hour. We had to dig the back door out every hour for all day long. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Spontaneous Creations by Brian. DRG out.